Okay, so I posted one silhouette tip. I'm going to post another one. I felt that I should just share this with you all. You know how you go on Google and you search in for images. Um, when I search for an image, I actually search for PNG. PNG will have the transparent background. I also look for the resolution of the picture so that I know it's a good picture. The higher the resolution, the clearer the picture. The resolution is the little numbers you see at the bottom. When you um, have your Google search, it'll have like a thousand times, a thousand, nine hundred, whatever. The higher the numbers, the better the picture. Some people don't know to search for PNG, um, but like I'll put stuff in, and, um, like say I'm doing minions, which I'm not right now. I just put this in to show y'all something. This um, is a JPEG. And this is before I started doing PNG, so it's still in there. So y'all see how you get an image and it got the freaking white box all around it? And this is how you remove it in Silhouette Studio. This is Business Edition. I didn't try it in the, I had Basic before, but I never tried it in Basic. But in Silhouette Business Edition, this is what you do. You have your image with all that white background around it. And you take, you go over here and you go to your trace, select trace. And you put your box around your image, right? You go ahead and do your threshold. This is your threshold. Hold on. This is your threshold. And I go ahead and I yellow out the whole image. Cover the whole image. I don't do that right there, no. I do the image itself, right? You come back over here and you go down to the bottom and you press trace and detach. Now you see that? Watch this. Let me find my cursor. Okay. Watch this. Look at that. He is no longer in the white box. He's free. So you can do the same thing. When you have a JPEG and um, has the white box around it, what I do is I'll come back over to the space where I took it out from and make sure there's nothing else sitting there. And it is. So then I'll delete that. So now I have a clean page. Boop, boop, boop. And he's just a hanging. So another easy way you can remove the white box out of JPEG is go to removebg.com upload the image there and it will remove your background for you you can do that for any kind of picture remove bg.com bye hey hey another quick tip i know um